morning. Hello, hello, good morning. Hello, hello. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. How are you? Oh, uh, we're tired, but I'm okay. It's Friday. It's Friday, definitely. Uh, Michelle, can you hear me now? Hello, hello. Okay, I think she has issues. All right. So it's, yeah, it's Friday. Any plans for the weekend? Yeah, for me, um, this weekend, I'm planning going to my parents' house because I have um, approximately two months that I didn't go because I'm working in my thesis, so I don't have too much time. Yeah, you've been bit of, very busy. Yeah. And, and where do they do the uh, where do they live? Uh, they live in La Palma, Chalatenang. Oh, <laughs> a bit far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a travel for four hours. In if I go on Saturday, I I. I spend three or four hours to. Yeah, it's a bit far. Yeah. But I imagine that the weather is nice there. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, I but imagine. I like <laughs> yeah. Okay, the sounds weather, like a good I really time. Like it. Okay. Yeah, I imagine it's very cold. Pretty good. Yeah. All right, so I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Excellent. Okay. All right. How about you, girls? Ah, Michelle, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Excellent. So, Michelle, do you have any plans for the weekend? Um, not really. Maybe we are planning to go to a a town near close near from Bogota. I in this moment I'm in Bogota, so. Ah. We're maybe planning something yeah okay so i have a question do you know that um on saturday so tomorrow uh, here in el salvador we are celebrating the father's day so yeah. in colombia is the same yeah but um they celebrate the second weekend of june they don't ah. have a specific date for that so basically, they always celebrate it. It's the second weekend. It doesn't yeah. matter the day. Yeah. And wow. in the Mother's Day, it's it's the same. Uh, we have, for example, it's, it's the May second Sunday, Michi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Specifically, it's the second Sunday. And yeah. for the Mother's Day, it's the same. It's the second Monday of the, yeah. on May. And yes. Father's Day is the second Sunday on June. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. I assume that they do that in order to avoid to give day off if it is a week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? but here in Colombia, they have a lot of holidays. Ah, uh, okay. And for example, this month, they have three holidays and always they took the, the Monday, for example. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, they do okay. the holiday on Monday. Yeah. Yes, Colombia is the country with the most day off in the year. 
<laughs> nice. We should copy them. <laughs> or I think we we all of you should move there. Okay. <laughs> Pretty nice. How about you, Paola? Do you have any plans for the weekend? Mm, well, last week I said that I want to to get the the drive drive license, but mm -hmm. when, when I realized the week passed so fast <laughs> and I didn't study for oh it, my so god, I, I'm not sure now. <laughs> All right, but I mean, you already drive. I I think that you yeah. can do it. Yeah. But it's a theory. The, ah, the theory the that is a theory. difficult one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The rest is, is easy. The psychology exam, the practice, and all of that, um, I'm fine. But the... the yeah, the, the other one is a little bit difficult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, try to study. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe the next week. Okay, I mean, but if you continue postponing it, you will never yeah, do that. I, never, I will get it. Yeah, you have to be legal, come on. <laughs> All yeah. right. Well, that's nice. I hope you can enjoy your weekend. And remember, eh, we are going to have the audio, but until the next week. So during this week, you can still relax. I just want to remind you guys about the platform. If you see, I can see here your um, your work, look at this. Can you see what I'm sharing right now? Yes. yes. Okay, remember that by the end of the week, I mean, we need to finish the 25%. And some people already started. I got 14%. That's great because you still have the weekend to finish. 10%. 28%, okay, this person already finished the 25%, that's great. Uh, Chacon Melgar, 25%, you already get the percentage required. Mm, some of you haven't started yet, so you have to start working, please. Over here, 35%, that's great, because I mean, you have even more than one is required, 35%. So far, so good. 1%, <laughs> be careful. And for the one who hasn't started, I mean, you have to, okay? So let's see who else, who else? 19%, so far, so good. 41, a lot of advance. A lot of people hasn't started yet. So be careful. Don't leave the platform by the last minute, please. Uh, 26, 29, so far so good. Again, some people hasn't started. And remember guys at the platform, I mean, you already have a good level of English, right? And the platform is relative simple. It's not so complicated, right? But um, even though try to work on the platform little by little so you can practice, okay? And if you have some issues with the exercise, you can take me a screenshot and I will help you. Um, just remember when you take the screenshot, you can tell me the number of the exercise. Uh, for example, if you see these are the exercises. The exercises has a number over here. So if you take the screenshot, tell me the number so I can search, yeah. right? Yeah. What is the exercise? And I will help you with that. Understood? Because sometimes send the screenshot and I have to search all of these to see what the exercise is. So don't be afraid to send the screenshot. I can help you with that. And if your classmate already did the exercise, I mean, they can help each other. OK, let's start. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, today we are going to see a very easy topic. So it's going to be more practice than grammar. Uh, we are starting the unit number two already, and this is the class number five. Today is 16th, and uh, it's Friday, so we are finishing our first week. Now, if you remember, we already studied models. 
Yes, can, could, and would. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. Only one remembers. Oh, my goodness. And the rest of you, do you remember these models? Can, could, and would? Yes? Yes. Okay, I hope so. Now, we are going to use these models. Remember that there are different scenarios where we can use them. But now we are going to talk about only request. Okay? If you want to ask a favor or if you have a request, you can use these models. Can, could, or would. All right? For example, look at this. Would. Would you help me clean the house? Uh, would you bring me some coffee? Those are requests. This person is asking for a favor. And what happens if you use would? Would is very polite. You sound very polite if you use would. All right? Also, could is very polite too. Could you bring me the bill, please? Imagine you go to the restaurant. Um, could I get your phone number? Especially if you are working in, in a customer service, you are talking to your customer and you need the phone number. Could you uh, provide me your phone number? Could I get your name? Could I get your address? Okay, so if you use could or would, it sounds very polite. And if you use can, you can also use it if you are asking for a favor or a request. But what happens with can? It's less polite. Okay? You can do it. Yes, you can use it. But it's less polite. For example, can you help me study for my exam? Uh, can you lend me your textbooks? Can you open the window? Can you open the door? You can use them, but it's less polite. Got it? Yes? Should is not a, a, a model too. Which one? Should. Should, yes. Should is a model, but remember that should is more for uh, advice. Okay? Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. and in this moment, we are just talking about request. Right. Mm -hmm. Any questions so far, guys? Nope. All right, as I mentioned, this topic is pretty simple, all right? I know that you remember this structure, so it's more practice. I'm going to give you these scenarios you have to ask for a request. Imagine that you are at work and your coworker says, I'm going to Starbucks. What kind of request could you ask to that person? Hey, could you get me a cup of coffee, please? Instead of could, what other can we use? Instead of could, we also could say would. Would you please get me a cup of coffee? We can also use can. Can you please get me a cup of coffee? So basically the meaning is the same. The only thing that changes is could and would are more polite. Can on the other hand is less polite. So here is depending the person you are talking to. If you are talking to a coworker, it's better if you use could or would. If it is your best friend, right? A person you can trust a lot. In that case, it doesn't matter if you use can, all right? Let's see the next scenarios. Uh, let me try to do it bigger. Let's see, uh, over here. Now, imagine that uh, your friend says, I'm going to the library. What kind of request could we ask? What do you think? Invent. What kind of request? 
could you or would you would you bring, me a bring me the Moby Dick book, please? All right, look. Could you bring me a book? It could be Moby Dick or Diva. Diva, Comedy Divine. What else? Any other idea? I'm going to the library. Okay, let's switch to the next, uh, next scenario. I'm going to our English class. <laughs> so, what do you think? What request could you ask to your classmate? Can you help me with this exercise? Ah, very good. So, we can say, hey, could you help me? I'm sorry with this exercise. Now, the idea, because we are saying that we need to sound polite, don't forget to always say, please. We can include please at the end of the sentence, or we can put it in the middle. For example, could you please? Could you please help me with this exercise? Or, could you help me with this exercise, please? Now, imagine that you are at home, very relaxed, and your sister or brother says, I'm going to the kitchen. What would you say? Mm -hmm. Could you bring... Uh, can you repeat? I couldn't hear the last part. Hello? Uh, my microphone is not working. Yeah, I think. Okay, I think we have issues with the microphone. Okay, guys, what else? I'm going to the kitchen. What would you ask? Can you please give me a bottle of water? <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> if you listen to your classmate, use could, would, or can. 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 Imagine I'm talking about my sister, right? Or my brother. So you don't need to be so polite with a person that you trust a lot. What else? I'm going to the kitchen. What else could you request? Uh-huh. Anything else? Can you bring me a uh, soda? Very good. <laughs> nice. Can you bring me the super or something like that? It's, it's worse too, right? Yeah, sounds good. Now, what happens if your best friend is traveling to London and says, Hey, I'm going to London? <laughs> what would you ask? Uh-huh. Give me a souvenir. Okay. Can you bring me a souvenir? Okay. Now, imagine that you are working and your best friend or someone says that he's going to the vegetable market. You have a lot of work, so you cannot go to the market. What would you request? Uh huh. Can you take some tomatoes for me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, pretty good. Why not? Uh huh. Anything else that you need, guys, from the vegetable market? Nothing else? Yeah. Okay, what about from McDonald's? Imagine that is lunchtime, you co-workers will go to McDonald's, but you cannot go because you cannot leave the office. Uh-huh, I'm going to McDonald's. So what would you ask? Could you please buy me a happy meal? 
<laughs> okay, pretty good. So if you see, we are just asking for requests. You can use the three options, could, would, or can. Could, would are very polite. Can is a little bit less polite. Is it clear the way that we can ask for requests? Yes? Yes. Thank All right. You. Very good. Let's move on. Now, when we are talking about requests, there are different types of requests. For example, when we ask a favor, as in the previous exercise, or also when we don't understand what the other person says, right? And we are asking to explain the situation, to provide a definition or a synonym, okay? So these are other phrases that we can include. If we are asking for request, we can also include the word, sorry. Imagine that you are at work, your supervisor is explaining the things that you have to do, and suddenly your supervisor, uh, supervisor mentioned a word that you don't understand. So you say, sorry, bud, could you explain what do you mean by exaggerate, for example? Imagine that they mention a word that you never heard before. Sorry, but you, uh, could you explain what do you mean? All right. Or imagine that your boss says something and hey, you have to do this and this and this, but you haven't heard that word before. What can we say? I haven't heard that word before. Could you explain what it means? So these are examples of questions that you can ask when you don't understand a word. Most of the time we just say, can you repeat? Mm, but you don't need repetition, you need a definition. Sometimes we say, what do you mean? But remember, the idea is to sound a little bit more polite. So we can use could to ask a definition, okay? This is another one. Sorry, I'm not sure what that word means. Could you explain it another way, please? And this is a very nice question when you don't understand the process. Imagine that you don't know how to do your job. You don't know how to do a specific task. You can ask, yeah. could you be careful with the microphones, please? No. Okay. We can also ask, could you explain it another way? You are asking to someone to explain the procedure, but in a different way, because you don't know exactly how to do it. Okay, so these are all the type of questions that we can use to explain. Again, we are trying to be polite. So don't forget to always say, please, or excuse me, I'm sorry. Understood? Yes? Yes. All right, take note because we are going to use these questions in the practice. Now, if you need that someone repeat the information, what kind of questions can we ask? What do you think? If you need to someone to repeat something, what would you say? How would you ask it? I would say, sorry, I don't get it. Could you repeat, please? Ah, very good. That's a nice question. Any other option? What do you think? Uh, the question would be, um, sorry, I don't follow. Can you say it again? Very good. Exactly. Those are very good questions. And it sounds very polite, too. Now, when we are asking for repetition, these are other options, right? Excuse me. I didn't quite catch that. Could you say it again? Another phrase that we can use is, sorry, I didn't hear what you said. 
So that's another option. And you can say it again. Could you repeat it? Could you say it again, please? And this one sounds more polite. I'm sorry, but would you mind repeating that? In this case, we are using the phrase, would you mind? That phrase sounds pretty good too, okay? So if you need to ask for repetition, you can use these phrases. Now, if someone asks you a favor or a request, what are the ways that we can answer? Imagine if your friend says, um, excuse me, but I didn't understand what you said. Could you say it again? How would you answer? Would you say like, yes, or yes, I can, yes, I could, or what? What do you think are the correct answers? Uh, just as close. Or uh huh. Okay. I know. I don't worry. And mm -hmm. again. Pretty good. So, if people is asking you for a favor, right? Imagine if someone says, uh, "Could you open up the door, please?" What will be your answer? Uh huh. Could you open up the door? Yes. Only yes? Yes, of course. I will help you. Ah, very good. So here we got another options, right? Uh, how can you answer to those favors? You can say certainly. Or, well, <laughs> if your answer is no, right? That's certainly not. Or, sure, no problem. Yes, of course. But imagine that you cannot do that favor. I mean, you also can answer in a very polite way. It's, Sorry, I can't. Or I'll see what I can do. I'm afraid I can't. So even when we are saying no, look, we are trying to use phrases to make our answer a little bit softer. Okay, so now we are going to see some scenarios where we can use these phrases, the questions and the answers, okay? And the most common scenarios where we are using requests, favors, so is when we are talking about complaining and apologizing. And this is when we are talking, for example, with customers, when we are dealing with people. And let's see some scenarios. Do you know what we are complaining? We have different types of complaining. For example, damaged goods. What is that? What do you think? What is damaged goods? Any idea? Imagine that you um, buy something online a cell phone, for example, and when you receive the package and you open it up and you see the cell phone and your cell phone is broken, will you call the company and explain that the goods is damaged? Yes or no? Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Absolutely, right? So that is a complaint about damage. Or imagine that you buy something online and your product never arrived. What type of complaint is that? The good never arrived. And so on and so on. These are the typical complainings that we can have in our lives, right? Now, let's see the first scenario. I'm going to play it on audio. You have to try to identify which complaint did you hear? What is the complaint about? What is the problem that they are having? And also try to identify what is the solution that the person provides. Okay? Pay attention, everyone. Microphones off to avoid interferences. Pay attention. If you don't listen to the audio, let me know. 
Hello, John. I'm calling about a mistake on our invoice. It looks like you have overcharged us by $50. I'm sorry about this. Our accounts department must have made a small mistake when they processed your order. We'll issue a corrected invoice immediately. I'll tell you what. Could you just subtract the extra amount from the next invoice? Certainly. I apologize again for the mistake. It's all right. Have a nice day. Could you listen to the audio? Yes. Yes? What yeah, was yeah. the complaint about? I think, um, I, I'm not, let me see if I understand, but maybe they are talking about um, the company doesn't send the invoice to the, to the woman. Okay. Do you agree, guys? No, the, the woman was complaining about uh, she was overcharged in yeah. their invoice by $50. And the customer service uh, man was telling her that the, the, their department was going to, to issue uh, a, a rollback to, to, to get the money back. But at the end, uh, she asks, asks for a subtraction of that amount in the next bill. All right, pretty good. So this is the transcript or the script of this conversation. I need two volunteers for reading, please. Uh-huh, who wants to read? Uh, I need two, I need two. One of you is going to read the letter A, one of you is going to read the letter B. I'm gonna be A. Okay, I need someone for the letter B, please. Me. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, just need, I just need to go first. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Hello, John. I'm calling about a mistake on our invoice. It's, it looks like you have overcharged us by $50. I'm sorry about this. Our accounts department must have made a small mis mistake when they processed your order. We'll issue a correct invoice immediately. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. Could you just subtract the extra amount from the next invoice? Certainly, I apologize again for the mistake. It's all right, have a nice day. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Paola sounds a little angrier than the yes. woman in the audio, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you see the request, we're asking in a very polite way. When she asks, could you subtract, da, 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 they don't say, I mean, he doesn't say just, yes. They say like, certainly. And they apologize again. So as your classmate says, this is the correct scenario, right? He was talking about a mistake in the invoice. Pretty good. Pay attention the way that they are taking this dialogue because later you have to do it. I have another conversation over here. So pay attention guys. Again, try to identify what kind of complaint is this and what is the solution. Microphones off, pay attention. Can I have a word with the manager, please? Yes, that's me. How can I help you? Well, I just want to complain about the lack of customer service here. I just can't find anyone to help me choose a laptop. Yes, I'm very sorry, ma'am. We are rather short-staffed at the moment. Please wait here and I'll find someone to help you. All right. Was the customer a little upset? What do you think? The woman came to the... <clears throat> store and there there's no anything anybody to help help her help yeah her. to help her exactly have you ever suffered this situation guys when you get to a warehouse or to the store and you are waiting over there because nobody is helping you have you ever suffered yeah all the time 
Always. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So how do you feel when you suffer this scenario? Angry and uh, frustrated Upset. because yeah. there are many um me, there are many spaces. There are I I mean there are one, two, three, four, five uh, space to a person should be in there to to attend some somebody and is not <laughs> there, there's no there's no anyone exactly <laughs> and you wonder okay so why do you have those uh, cubicles <laughs> right yeah. why do you have those spots if nobody's gonna be there okay so here we got the script again i will need two volunteers for reading please I can be A. Thank you. Okay, I need someone for the letter B, please. I can be B. Thank you. Okay, guys, go ahead. Can I have a word with the manager, please? Yes, that's me. How can I help you? Well, I just want to complain about the lack of customer service here. I just can't find anyone to help me choose a laptop. Yes, I'm very sorry, ma'am. We are already short-staffed at the moment. Please wait here and I will find someone to help. Thank you. So if you see, can I have a word with? That sounds better instead of just using, can I speak with or can I talk to? So that's another option. Now, if you see, I think the customer was very frustrated, a little angry, right? But even though you need to calm down and try to help. Now, we are going to simulate in a scenario. Imagine guys that I am the customer. I'm afraid we have a problem with your latest delivery. It's right three days late again. Okay, imagine how the customer feels because that person, imagine that the person asked for a laptop, okay? But the package arrived three days late. What do you think? How this customer might feel at this point? Happy? <laughs> or how? What do you think? How does the customer feel? I'm very upset because maybe it's waiting a long time for the, uh, for the purchase. Exactly. So imagine that the customer is calling you, hey, you know what? My package never arrives or arrives three days late. So I want to know why I already pay. It, it was a lot of money. So what would you say, guys? And imagine that you are the agent who is taking that call. What questions would you ask? Try to sound polite. Mm -hmm. What would you say? Like, sorry, sir, we have to have a little bit problems with the uh, digital company. So let me help you with some, I don't know, souvenirs or something like that to, to rewarn you for the incumbent. So, and I'm here to, uh, to, hear, to help you. All right, that's great because he's offering our, our, um, he's offering a solution, but also he's giving extra, right? He's trying to search what else can he do in order to compensate this issue. Now, what kind of questions do you need to ask? Do you need to know the name of the person? Maybe um well if I am if if I am the the customer service um I need the order number. All right. The first, is the first thing that I I will need. And how would you ask for that number? Uh, could you bring me the order number? All right, pretty good. <laughs> What else? What else do we need to know in order to help this person? Uh, the talking number. Okay, how would you ask that? Uh, could you please bring me a, 
to talk in a little bit about your package. All right, pretty good. So you see, that's the idea. I want you guys to apologize for the inconvenience. I want you to try to search a solution, offer the customer something so the customer don't, it doesn't feel angry anymore and ask the correct questions, all right? But ask the questions in a very polite way, okay? Now, look at the next scenario. Imagine um, the customer is calling, right? And says, hello, I'm calling because we have a problem with our order. We receive everything, so that's not the problem. The problem is that the goods are damaged. Hmm. So guys, what would you say? Mm -hmm. First, you need to apologize. How would you apologize? Sorry for the inconvenience. Inconvenience? Uh huh. Sorry um, for the inconvenience. <laughs> what else? I would say something like, um, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, please, could you bring me the order number? And I will check uh, for a for a refund, for example, or I I will request that supplier send send another good again. All right, that sounds like a great solution. Pretty good job. All right, so those are just some examples. Now we are going to do the role play. We have here two scenarios. Okay, you have to role play each situation, but take turns to be the customer. So in one scenario, you can be the customer. In the scenario number two, you can be the agent. Okay, so both can be the customers. Now, if you are the customer, you need to complain, okay? Express what the scenario is. For example, in the scenario number one, you order 100 laptops, okay from the supplier but you only got 90 okay so <laughs> you need 100 okay you need 10 more so call the agent explain the situation and tell them that this problem has happened several times it's not the first time okay so express the situation the agent you need to apologize Okay, you have to look for a solution, invent the solution, okay? There's no problem at all. And don't forget, the idea for this role play is that you have to use can, could, or would in order to sound more polite. Is it clear, the role play? Yes? Yes. yes. Cool. I'm going to send the role plays on WhatsApp's group so you can see the scenarios over there. We will be working in pairs. So again, don't forget to switch. First, you can be the a customer. In the second role play, you can be the agent. If your classmate doesn't sound polite because it doesn't use the phrases, I mean, tell them, right? Let me send the information. Give me a second. Okay, I already sent the scenarios on WhatsApp groups. And depending on the scenario, guys, you can also pretend that you are an angry, I don't know, an angry customer or if you want to be a nice customer or not, okay? That is up to you. There will be only one group of three. So in the group of three, you can switch, okay? By the end, a, one person has to repeat the role play. Okay, let's go to work. Uh, fine, June. I'm fine too. Let's see. The first scenario is you order 
uh, 100 laptops for your supplier, but only 90 were delivered. This problem okay. has happened several times before. Call your supplier to complain. I don't know if you want to be the customer. Oh uh, yeah, I can, I can be the customer. And okay. then we switch. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, okay, let me think a little. Uh... Ring. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a phone. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello, good morning. Okay, uh, I would like to talk with someone of these suppliers and or sales person. Yes, can you explain me what is your complaint? Okay, I ordered a uh, 100, 100 laptop, but you only uh, bring me 90, 90 laptops. So I would like if you can help me with that. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, can you bring me your name and your number of the order? Sure. Uh, my name is Rosilanda Verde. And my order is 30013. Okay, let me check. Uh, can you wait in the line, please? Sure. <laughs> Online? <laughs> I don't know how to say. Mm. Oh, the supplier uh, don't have the enough computer for your order and then they bring you, um, will bring will bring you the another 10 laptops. And I'm sorry about that. Oh, uh, okay. There, but is no, problem... there is no laptops in the stock. Okay, but this problem happened several times before and you don't send me anything or like a mail or call with me. I always have to call with you about it. So uh, you can uh, do this better. Yes, uh, we will try to be better the, the service that we have and I'm so sorry about that. We can give you a coupon. Okay. Uh huh. To sell another thing in the store. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ya no hay ni que responderle. <laughs> I know, I know. You were in troubles in that moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but the scenario is uh, specific say that this happened before, so I need to. Yeah, do you it. have to tell them, of care. Oh, I mean, of course. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> nice job, nice job. Even the problem, I mean, it's a serious problem, but even though, I mean, I think that Rocio was a very nice customer. Yes. She she could be worse, right? <laughs> yeah. She, imagine in <laughs> the <I> real <laughs> in the real life. Do you think that the customer will be nice? No. Mm, never. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> Pretty good. Nice job, guys. Now you can switch, and in this moment, Rocio, you will be the agent, and Aris Mendy, oh. you can be the customer. Okay. Okay. That is calm. And you are, you are going to receive the rest of the laptop this afternoon. I hope in the in between two or four p.m. Nice. Okay. I'll wait for my for the rest. Okay. Great. Have a nice day. That's the first one. <laughs> All right. Yes. Was it easy or difficult? Difficult. I yes, don't it. want to work in a service customer, like <laughs> a service customer agent. <laughs> Did you have a difficult customer? Yeah. <laughs> He's very upset. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, how old. <laughs> yeah, because I need the complete order. Not, yeah. Not partial. yeah. <laughs> I totally understand you're, uh, you're angry, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but now is the revenge. <laughs> now oh, nice. she is going to be the customer. Okay, go ahead. You can go to the second scenario. Okay. Um, um, hi, good morning. I need uh, help with some issue because to, this morning I received an invoice, but the I, invoice, it's too high. I, I, I'm not sure what it's happening. So can you help me, please? Uh, yeah, yeah, good morning. Say what, uh, sure, we can. Uh, let me see uh, who, who I'm talking about. Uh, okay, what's your name, uh, please? Uh, I'm Michelle Adreda. I, I have years working with you. I am not sure what is going on because uh, this is the the second time that I received this kind of uh, mistakes from you. So I, I don't have any complaint with the service. I think you are very good cleaning, but when you issue and send me the, the invoice, this is the second time that I received okay. an invoice for $1,000. Uh, for example, I I remember that uh, the service cost just $300 and the amount in this invoice is for $3,000. So um, I don't know what is, what's happening. Uh, I need to pay because at the end of the day, I want to uh, give you the, the 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 payment, but please, I I need you. Cor uh, I don't know. Maybe you can yeah, generate sure. uh, another invoice. Sure, sure. Uh, first of all, sorry for hear that. Really, I, I apologize for the coming for the coming but now uh, I will bring you all, all the all the help that, that you need. So please. Can, can you please bring me your uh your account number to check to check to check if something is not good, okay? Okay, yeah. Um C two three nine one eight nine. Okay, thanks. And then let me see. All right, got it. I got the information on my screen, okay. See, oh yeah. I can see this is uh this is not the critical. Sorry, I had trouble with my order because I ordered uh, one hundred laptops, and from you, but I only received eighty. So I want a, an answer of, uh, of your company because I'm very upset with the situation. I had this trouble in a uh, serious times, so this is not the only one, and I feel very sad with with that situation. Could you bring me a solution, please? Uh, yes. Um, could you please tell me your your full name? Um, <clears throat> what is the also the tracking number for your order, uh, please? Of course, my name is Salvador Rauda and the order uh, the order number is A123. Okay, um, let me check the system. It seems like you order a hundred laptops, um, but we only ship 90. Is that correct? It's correct. Okay, um, sir, the problem was because, as you know, with, with this pandemic, um, we, uh, we had a lack of uh, electronic devices like CPUs and so on. So that is the reason why we um, couldn't deliver those 10 laptops, but those are in Kiwi. Are you... Are you fine waiting for the record of the laptop or uh, do you want a refund for those 10? 
Uh, well, I needed a, from, uh, a refund because I paid for 100 and only received 80. So it's a problem for me. But uh, in this case, well, I accepted the refund of you guys. Okay, I see the cost of each laptop is 1000 so you will get a refund uh, of 10 grand dollars. Um, I will ask my supervisor and when, when he approves, I will issue this process. Uh, usually this takes uh, about three or five days, five days. To, to complete, uh, would you would you mind um, saving the 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 request number? Do you have some yeah? To, to... Uh, I, I, I have that. So I will receive the paycheck in three days. Is yes. is correct? Yes, that's correct, sir. Okay. okay. I will. I will waiting for it. So the, Thank you so much. The request. All right, time's up. Let's go back. All right, all right, time's up. All right. Well, let's wait for your classmates. Okay. Thank you. Hello. All right. How was the role play? Was it easy or difficult? It was. It was easy. The second scenario for me was funny because when we are talking with Ricardo, uh, um, he uh, he was the the customer service. So he was talking and talking, and for a moment I thought he uh, he he's gonna tell me. Oh, you received the invoice for <laughs> three thousand because you request on service, and that service it was so expensive. <laughs> I thought that for a moment. Yeah. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> but it was funny. <laughs> Some of you were very difficult customers, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, nice job, everyone. We don't have time. So very, very quick, just review some of the phrases that we need to keep in mind. Can you wait in the line? What is another way that we can say this phrase? We, we have to use could. On hold, yes. You can say, for example, may I put you on hold or could I put you on hold? So this is like, wait, pronunciation. Can I say help? Help. No. Helped, right? We already checked the pronunciation of it is. I'm sorry for hear that. No, I'm sorry to hear that. Pronunciation. Inconvenience. That is the one. Inconvenience, exactly. Now we already checked this topic. Could you tell me what is the number? Is that the correct question? No. What is the correct one? The yeast need, needs to be at the end. Ah, very good. So remember the topic, please. If you don't remember this type of questions, we need to review it. Could you tell me what the number is? Okay, little details, but we are going to continue practicing that. So just don't forget guys to be polite. So always use the correct models. Do you have any questions before leaving? No, okay, don't forget to be nice customers, please. Now work on the platform. Don't forget that by the end of the week, or, I mean weekend, we need to get the 25%, okay? Yeah, thank cool. you. You're welcome. Have a wonderful weekend. See you on Monday. Bye. Bye.